Hello, it's Maxine K and Yoga, who seems to be backwards tonight, but there she is. Well, you should see the back of her head too, it's pretty cute. We're from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, and we're here to bring you another love note. Speaking of love, you know, we, we understand that God is love and that unconditional love is the basis of everything. And that no matter what may be taking place in our lives or in the world that seems very unlovely, irritating, annoying, upsetting, frightening, any of that, is still held in the context of divine love. It's hard to remember that sometimes, isn't it? Am I supposed to love everybody? <laughs> well, I think about a Peanuts cartoon years ago where, where Lucy is saying, I love everybody. It's just people I can't stand. Have you ever noticed sometimes someone really rubs you the wrong way? <laughs> you can feel annoyed, you can feel irritated, you can get upset. And uh, it's a human thing to do, we all do it. Except for yoga, of course. And when we do, we, it's a good idea to catch ourselves and go, you know, as Eric Butterworth said in his book, um, Living in the Flow, one of my favorite he said, you can't, be a, you can't be annoyed unless you're annoyable. And so that brings it right back to me. I get to look to see, you know, what's in me that triggered whatever, um, that was triggered by whatever that was. And even more importantly, I get to look at that person that I had an unpleasant opinion about a minute ago. And... Uh, Remember who he or she is. Remember that that's a beautiful being, an expression of the living God. And that within that person, there is the purity of spirit. There is the beneficence of the universe. There is love and there is wisdom because that person, he or she, was created from the same divine cloth that I was. And in remembering that, it can help to lift the load. It can help us uh, to come back to our sense of unity with all life and allowing real love to express through us. Because we can, we can keep the flow of that love from moving through us by, by uh, having those conflicts that are within. Very much like the garden hose that will easily water the plants and wash the car, wipe off the muddy feet, whatever is needed, unless it gets a kink in it. And when that hose gets a kink in it, it doesn't mean that there isn't any water. It just means that we have temporarily stopped its flow. Come over here, I, can, I think the people want to see you, okay? Oh, see, not better? Yeah, say hello to your fans, your many fans. So who needs to take the foot off the hose? When I get upset, I do. And I get to look to see the beautiful being or beings, maybe it was a whole flock of people, maybe it was something we saw on the news that got our knickers in a knot. Let's unknot the knickers and let's unkink the hose and let's remember who we all are. You know, we talk about unity, we talk about oneness, well, let's experience it. Let's remember it, especially in the tough times. Una so said, if we don't practice this beautiful spiritual science when things uh, look the worst, we, we really don't know how to practice this very beautiful spiritual science. It's not that we don't know, it's just that we forget. So I'm calling myself and all of us to remember it now. God is still in charge. You, know, I, you and I and all the people who move through our lives, whether they're just for a moment or for years, all of the people are expressions of the living God. Let's remember who they are. Let's remember who we are as well, because we can lose sight of the divine being that we are as well. Yoga reminds us about unconditional love, right? Yoga reminds us that it's always possible <coughs> to return to that state 
of compassion, <coughs> clarity, and remember who we are. Remember who everyone else is, too. So let's take a deep breath and release anything that may have concerned us today. Just release it. It doesn't have any power except that which we may continue to give to it. So let's not. Let's come back to remembering who we are. Remembering who every sentient being on this planet is. And give thanks for our ability to change our mind and change them again and change them again until we finally return to the truth of our being. You and I are expressions of the living God, nothing less, and that will never change. So let's remember it. Well, tomorrow, Reverend Mike will be giving you a love note. And of course, Sunday morning, we have our live stream. <coughs> and that uh, takes place at Sweet 60, even though you're not there. And we love connecting with you in that way. We love having the ability to feel your presence with us and ours with you, wherever we all may be. Uh, and you go to our website in order to access that live stream, which is csrfilly.org. And click on the link. It takes you right to either Facebook or the YouTube channels. And uh, there's also an opportunity to look through archived uh, live streams and love notes and uh, a beautiful opportunity to make a contribution to keep our center strong, healthy. And we're so grateful to you for all of the contributions that you make, your prayers, your financial contribution, and being with us at every possible time. We love you, and we'll see you real soon.